Um, so kind of a victory lap plus a question here. I uh, just want to give a quick uh, congratulations to Anelli. Uh, she competed last weekend uh, at the Great Britain Masters Championship. Uh, she said she placed third in the M1 63 class. Um, she said she's pretty happy with her performance. She went nine for nine, got a new personal best in the squat, uh, the deadlift, and a new to total personal best, which uh, is a nine kilo increase since her last comp only six weeks ago. So excellent job there. Uh, her Wilkes increased by 10 points uh, from her last comp also six weeks ago. Man, that's, that's incredible. Um, she says her, her first Nationals comp, uh, so she played it pretty safe. Man, playing it safe and, and still coming away with uh, personal best and uh, Wilkes points PRs and stuff like that. That's excellent. Just really good work. Um, she said, I used the Matt, the Matt Gary formula, which worked really well. So first attempts around 90%, second at 95, 96, and then final attempt at 100%, 101 and a half or so. Uh, she said, I'm especially happy with the deadlift and dropping my warm up reps. Uh, by a third made a difference, uh, which he also recommends. I've increased with, uh, in the squat and the deadlift, but lowered my bench attempts from the last comp uh, when I failed 55 kilos on my last lift. Um, so yeah, excellent work. Uh, excellent work overall. Uh, the question though, uh, which I thought is, is a really good question that maybe uh, I should talk more about. Um, she mentions uh, having a, a seven month old baby and a two and a half year old who normally sleep through the night uh, but who destroyed my sleep the night before the comp, which is, you know, if it's going to happen, that's when it's going to happen. Um, she said I had to go for a little nap before the deadlift. What impact do you think lack of sleep has on strength? So this is a really interesting question. Something that I've noticed is that for for me at least, and a couple other of the people that I've informally surveyed on this, sleep the night before the competition is not the most critical night. Sleep two nights before the competition is the most critical time. If I get a really good night's sleep two nights out, then I'll be fine on the competition night, even if I don't sleep that well the night uh, prior. You may be a little tired, you may be a little fatigued, but the strength will still be there. Now, if you have crappy sleep for a number of nights leading up to a competition, then that's going to affect things negatively. Now, I think that maybe is reflected in your competition results here as well. You had crappy sleep the night prior, you know, you don't really mention two nights prior, so it would be interesting to hear uh, if things were normal then. Um, and you were tired during the meet, but your performance was good. And, you know, really from an athletic standpoint, okay, if you're tired, then, I mean, that's not ideal. But if your performance is good, your performance is good and no big deal, you know. So, um, yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on that. Now, on a more long-term scale, a lack of sleep is going to make you feel less recovered. And something that we learned, um, I mean, something that we've known, but we were able to put concrete data on uh, with the recent Project Momentum uh, that we ran was that people who felt recovered get much better progress from their training than people who don't feel recovered. Sleep correlated a little bit with that, uh, but it wasn't a real great correlation. But what we know is that if your sleep is bad, then you 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 don't feel recovered. You don't recover as well, and that will drag down your results. So getting a little bit less sleep here and there is not that big of a deal as long as you're feeling recovered. But when it starts to drag down your recovery, you're feeling tired, uh, you're feeling fatigued, that's not a good thing, and that's dragging down your training results. So uh, that's kind of my thoughts on sleep. Again, congratulations on the personal best, uh, the improvements overall. Uh, looking forward to a lot more to come. Congratulations.